I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't do that. This sort of thing has cropped up before, and it has always been due to human error. Has the mission been completed? You know that I have the greatest enthusiasm for it. Okay, hey, uh, what a what a day! Spent the day at work and uh, had a lot of fun, and uh, now it's been uh, kind of setting up for uh, for the next stage here on the Mobius uh, 155 scale moon bus from uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey. And uh, I have had some progress uh, since our last discussion. Uh, primarily, uh, these have come together really well. Uh, you can see that. Uh, uh, that those two lockers light up like uh, just like fantastic uh, with the light blocking and so forth and of course I did happen to screw up uh, as you can see here in the close-up I definitely had a challenge with uh, my paint crinkling so I'll try to sand on that and make that happen. basically got my foot in it and uh, you know how that goes but uh, you can see from the lighting there that uh, uh, when that lights up it's gonna just be uh, very very cool and uh, you know, you can see it's just going to going to let a lot of light into that cabin without being too bright uh, as we go. Most of the lighting has been running now for almost eight to ten hours, and uh, there we go, just went off. And uh, you can see now in that corner there uh, what it looks like when you've got um, that lighting in behind uh, the lockers uh, in, in place. Same thing here across the top. Uh, you can see with the Raytheon lighting coming through. Uh, you can see with the radiothon lighting coming through here that those are going to light up uh, just about exactly the way I was hoping. And uh, like I said, I've just let these bulbs burn in. I said for uh, like I said for eight to ten hours, just uh, let them run and run and run. Uh, looks like no problems there with with any of the voltages or any of that stuff. Here is a quick little note. That is the side lights part. Uh, there's two of them there and there. Those side lights are where um, uh, they fit into the side of the cockpit right there. That part fits in there. So what I've decided to do, after I trim up some flash a little bit there, is I'm going to go ahead and glue that part in, and then I'm going to drill out all four of those holes there, and then all four of those holes there. So we've got uh, that stretch and that stretch. I'm going to drill that out. And inside of those four holes, I'm actually going to glue in um, each one of those uh, little SMD heads right there. And that's about as teeny tiny as you can get. But uh, that little SMD head is, is just going to be perfect for what we're trying to do uh, to simulate that. Now, the only thing I'm going to work on, those are white, and I have a set of yellows. And I'm going to try both of them to see which one looks better uh, than the other one does. But uh, if we can make that happen... Uh, it's gonna. I, I think it's gonna be very cool, and uh, and then uh, then I'll have to figure out if it all comes on at once, uh, or if I want to make this switchable in the base. But I, I don't want to do that because I've got a very small base. I think what I've decided to do is use this little tiny base, since this thing doesn't weigh much. Use this little base, and I found uh, this lovely little uh, USB power block. Uh, it turns on and off. It's rechargeable, and it fits neatly in there. This plugs in. And I think I can just run two little wires, and what I might actually do is just glue that to the bottom so that I open it up, push the button to start it, and not even put an external switch on there. So I haven't decided yet. I might do one little external switch right there and then still uh, be able to open that up to charge, uh, recharge this battery uh, and, uh, and, and do anything else with it that, that needs to be done. So that's kind of a, a little ways down the road, and, and we'll, we'll get there uh, according to what... Uh, powers that be dictate. So uh, for this uh, update it's actually going to be pretty short and sweet. Again the lighting uh, has been burning in for for several hours so uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is do a little touch-up paint on the inside door. I haven't done that yet. Uh, once that touch-up paint is done then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hot glue in the lights and make sure that those go in uh, correctly. I'm going to just basically glue the whole bottom section in 
uh, and then once all that bottom is glued in then I'll also have to figure out how to do the top section. I had played around with putting a light strip in here and, and I just don't think I'm going to need it. I think there's going to be enough brightness uh, with that lighting that uh, um, uh, I'm just not going to need it. It's going to be bright enough in there and uh, with the cockpit and the lights in the side I really like the look of that. Uh, you can see that in there now that uh, that, that looks pretty good and uh, when this other one goes in that'll be fantastic and uh, uh, so great progress. Uh, this is going to be a challenge and then running the wires from that. So what I'm going to have to do, since there are going to be four SMDs, what I want to do is make those leads very, very, very short uh, and four uh, in parallel running right to one hot uh, on the positives, four in parallel running one to one negative, and then just string that under, the, under this here and then connect it with uh, four uh, hots and four negatives. So, and then connect those, so basically one wire runs it all. This isn't any voltage to, to speak of, so it, it's really not too hard to carry it. And, uh, and, I mean, those are nothing to light those up. I think a 2.2 volts uh, lights it up. So, um, but the key is, is, is being able to put that part in either last and then slide this on or put it in and, and then have the wires uh, flexible enough and movable enough that I can pull it through when I pull it through the bottom and uh, and, and make that work to, to give uh, enough room to make all of this uh, wiring come together and then shorten it up and once it's in the pole uh, shorten it up and, and get it running. So for now this is a sloppy model or signing off. I appreciate uh, your uh, continued subscriptions. Uh, we've had a couple more uh, on the channel as it's a brand new channel produced a brand new trailer and uh, so we'll see how that uh, comes together and uh, um, also did manage to light block uh, that one seam that was in there pretty pretty large seam that was there and that is now light blocked where the rest of the lights light up but that seam right here uh, no longer glow so that uh, was done with just some tulip and, and that's uh, taken care of as far as uh, light blocking that particular piece and that's almost ready to glue in so, so for now, this is the uh, Sloppy Modeler signing off, and uh, we look forward to seeing you here next time. Thank you. In action. Hey, welcome back to the Sloppy Modeler. It's been a uh, pretty uh, terrifying day here, working through a couple of challenges that, uh, quite honestly, a guy has to say when to throw his paws up and surrender. And uh, this event today was exactly one of those. Primarily speaking, trying to fit four little SMDs into that uh, into this area right here um, we'll give it up here a little better shot uh, that set of lights right there uh, I worked for probably four or five hours trying to fit them in there and to glue them and, and to get that done just was not going to happen and so what I did is uh, on that facing, and I don't want to take this apart, I'm not going to, there's a facing wall on the on the inside of that. We've seen that wall before, it's one that I, I, I painted up. Let me get to the instructions here real quick. So yeah, so this facing wall right here, actually the back side of that faces directly into those four holes. So what I did is on the back side of that, of that wall and on the other one I actually put a uh, LED tape strip that would essentially be right there so that LED tape strip would be right there facing out and I'm gonna make them on a separate switch so even though this is gonna light up when all this uh, lighting is inside of here uh, when I hit that switch those lights will come on to simulate a set of, of side lights, search lights. The other thing I was uh, thinking of doing was, was putting lights in here and essentially I said you know what uh, in none of the photos except one of a model build did I see that there were, were lights uh, put into that so I, I chose not to. What I have gotten done or what I have uh, been able to accomplish here over the last couple of days or last day or so uh, is that uh, the interior has been entirely all glued in 
and uh, all of the lights except for the two top lights here because that's on top of the base or on top of the, the the roof all the other lights have been wired in and we've wired them through to my hole here where I can now put a uh, uh, this hole I can now put a um, uh, my post in there and then go out to my base so uh, Again, it was a frustrating day of modeling and working with it and, and trying to, to, to make this happen. But what I have got accomplished, these uh, side panel or side window frames are in. They've been painted. They've been taped off. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, is simply um, tape over this uh, section here when I go to paint this. I'll, I'll hand paint in some of that and then tape that off and, 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 and be able to touch that up. If you go, and again, if you remember, there's a piece that fits over this entire seam and over that entire seam. And uh, as a result, uh, there, there's a lot of opportunity there, opportunity there uh, to, uh, to pull this all together. So uh, yeah, we did make some progress today. I can see that I've got a seam that's popping out right here that I've got to deal with, but uh, I'll glue that. Uh, I can still take this off and flip it over and glue it in. It's been uh, a lot of fun. I did get the seats painted, so you can see that the seats have now got uh, black, and then they've got just a quick little uh, burnt sienna there on uh, burnt sienna there on the. Um, let's see if we can get that to focus. There we go. Burnt sienna on on the armrest. So all six of those are done and taken care of. Now we're ready to to glue those in as soon as I pop the top off. Uh, I did manage to get all the light blocking done on the pedestals. So uh, when you see that again for the next time, those light those pedestals have been light blocked, and uh, that's been painted in. All the lights are glued in now, and not only uh, it just if you're 3M and if you're listening, the tape that you use, uh, the adhesive that you use on the back tape of these is perhaps the weakest thing I've ever seen in my life. It absolutely sticks to nothing. You peel that off of the back of an LED tape and that 3M adhesive might as well just say, hey, I'm not done, I'm out of here, I'm going for a ride because it's definitely not sticking around uh, to hold up your product, not in any way, shape, fashion, or form. So I think that's a real miss in my opinion with, with 3M and that tape and it's been every every different version of it that I've, I've dealt with since the beginning has been just that. There's no real skill set uh, that you, I can employ to keep that tape to hold. So what I did is after I taped it down with the actual adhesive, I then put drops of super glue along it to keep it from, from lifting up and falling out of these walls and things of that nature. So as I look in here, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with it. I, I think uh, it came together pretty well. And let me see, I guess I can pull this tape off now. It was just kind of holding the hull in place and holding the roof in place as we go. Let's just pull that and now we can pull that off. As you can see now, the interior, again we've got those red lights in there. Again, it's all just, just touched wired in. But now you can start to see that we've got the Raytheon lighting effect that happened here along that stretch there. Uh, all of this has been glued in and what I'll do is run just a piece of, uh, if I've got this seam right here, what I'll do is run um, a bit of canopy glue through there so at least it, it doesn't look like a light leak uh, it'll just look like it's it's just coming through as it sits again when you're looking at that from uh, that side but actually you know I, I'm pretty pleased with that these have now been painted I painted the doors uh, these vinyl doors here and uh, again because this is wired up I want to just be careful but these vinyl doors here have now been painted to look like brown vinyl. It's something that you would have seen in the in the 70s and and uh, you would have seen that uh, kind of just just working through uh, vinyl and we have it today in 2019 that we've got brown vinyl. The other thing I did on the interior here is I did paint grab my pointer here again. Uh, I did manage to paint up uh, these here struts that would go across the roof and uh, like I said, I've got to put the glass in yet uh, behind here. Probably do that next. Uh, but these struts are in. They've been painted and glued in. These have been glued in. And now that that's done, um, you know, we're really starting to see a little bit of progress here. Uh, one of the next big challenges would be, of course, to start painting all of the figurines with their silver 
uh, suits that they wear, the silver type uh, uh, space suits that they have, and then figuring out my configuration of where I want to put them in, the, in this particular model. Um, again, this sidewall has been uh, glued in. This sidewall has been glued in. I really like the look now of this uh, instrument panel. I think you can probably see it on your side there. The instrument panel looks like it's lit up, uh, and that's with that three uh, bulb LED strip tape across the bottom of that. And I moved that back as far as I could, and I think that's going to be okay. You're never going to see that. And then the red glow still has its ability to glow in there. And uh, I think you can see, uh, let's go this direction here, that these doors look really nice um, the way that they came together with the lockers and the Raytheon lighting there. And uh, so not having an easy way to light this up, I'm actually kind of pleased with the way all this turned out. You know, you can see that there's a big light leak down here along the bottom. But uh, as this has a chance to dry a little bit, what I'll do, like I said, is use just canopy glue and go in and, f and fill that gap all the way around. And then if I need to touch up paint, I will. But uh, that should just make it flow a little more uh, aesthetically. Uh, from the front to the back. So when you do get the seats in, I got to say, you know, it's starting to look pretty cute in there. It, it's, a, it's a neat little representation of the interior of the moon bus. And uh, for this Mobius moon bus, um, this is a hard kit to do if you're trying to light it. And it's a hard kit to do because there's no real set assemblies that you can put together and then wire it and then hook it up later. It's kind of all got to go in at once and this has to go on all at the same time. So all of those things are a bit of a factor as you uh, as you you try to put this together uh, from from the kit. Nice kit. It's just my highly limited skill set in uh, doing any kind of modeling. Of course, is exactly what uh, what the challenge is uh, with with this. So uh, with that uh, for this evening, uh, we're going to call it good on this particular update. And uh, I hope you go out and enjoy building something. This is. Uh, uh, like I said, a long frustration trying to get those into the corners for the headlights, but uh, um, you know what? We made the best of it, and we're going to move on to a different process. So for now, this is the Sloppy Modeler signing off. Go enjoy build something. Thanks.